What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Meme Her. Background noise in my parents' shop. Sorry about that. For breakfast, I did. Sorry about that. For breakfast, I had a cheese bagel. Uh, for lunch, I had pasta salad and a banana. And uh, there was also a burger at school, so I had that. Um, and for dinner, we're going to be having stew. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, the map is fully done. Check this out. Whoa. Whoa, I just moved stuff to the wrong location. So this is gonna be almost the final version. I kind of made this and then it's pinned to the side. Uh, it looks really ugly pinned to the side like this, but I feel like if it's not, people won't even realize that uh, you can go like to different maps. So I, I just made it pinned. Um, it's automatically pinned. So as you can tell, this just keeps going, keeps going. This is where I live. Um, I don't know if you've seen this, but um, yeah, in general, it just it just goes so crazy, and you know I'm I'm happy about that. Uh, and you can also see the underground map. I'll probably disable this, but um, yeah, you can view this if you want to. Uh, the the blacker areas are 1.18 chunks, so where people put in 1.18. So I think it might be useful to tell where people where like new chunks are, uh, where like old chunks haven't been loaded, where new chunks haven't been loaded yet, like over here. But uh, aside from that, I don't know. And uh, we also got the nether here, like the full nether. Um, we've got the full end, not the full end actually, just like some, but you know, that's because I don't want the outer end islands to be exposed. Um, but yeah, it goes crazy. My only worry is that this might disincentivize, um, might disincentivize actually going on the server, because if somebody wants to see something, they could just go on the map now. But uh, you know, I think having the map and having the player base be slightly less is worth is worth it. You know. Also, I stopped using Sears. Um, I was having some some game breaking issues with it. I know game breaking is the wrong word, but I was having some horrible issues with it. Uh, number one, it's a meta search engine, so not only does it search through DuckDuckGo, it also searches through like Google and Bing. And uh, while you can do that, it takes way too long. It takes like five seconds per search, and that's crazy. Um, the whole reason why. Now, you could just make it so then it only does DuckDuckGo, or maybe DuckDuckGo on Google, uh, and it's way faster. Uh, but the thing is, is number two, uh, image search. Image search is just worse, and uh, you can't sort by transparent images, and it just shows you a list of images, and you can't really sort them, and it is necessary for me to be able to like find transparent images. My last thumbnail, the one with the Sirx uh, logo on it, it was actually just a white thumbnail that I like, like color selected the white out of. It was bad. Um, and then number three, uh, it wasn't saving my preferences. I set cookies to save on my computer, but just, it just wasn't saving them. So uh, yeah, Sirx is really awesome. Again, I, I think it's a great technology, um, you know, great, great software project. But um, God, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll wait a few years before I start using it because, you know, I don't really care if Dr. Go knows like my, my IT issues. Um, and also, uh, yeah. See you, dude.